Hey everybody YouTube, this is Cody Mac, and today I will show you how to make homemade Cheez-It mozzarella sticks. We're going to start by pouring the cheeses inside the food processor. And we'll cover it up, and run it until it gets crumbly, just like this. And now we're going to do the breading. I went ahead and put one third cup of water in the bowl. And to that, we're going to add two eggs. And then we're going to whisk it until it's well incorporated. And next, we're going to add some Cheez-It crumbs inside the next bowl. And then we'll add some flour to the last bowl. And all we got to do now is just dip in the flour, then the egg wash, and then into the crumb mixture. And then back into the egg wash and back into the crumb mixture. And then we'll place it on the baking sheet. All you have to do is to repeat the process until your tray is full. And this is how yours should look like. Now we're gonna put this in a Ziploc bag. Carefully put these in a Ziploc bag one at a time and make sure you don't push them too close together. Otherwise they will stick. And then we're going to store these in the freezer overnight. After your mozzarella sticks have been frozen, heat your stove to medium-high heat. After your oil is heated, drop in the mozzarella sticks. You could do four to eight. I wouldn't go more than eight, though. Fry it for about three to four minutes. If you fry it too long, they could pop. After they're done, place them on a plate and then dry them off with a paper towel. I wouldn't put it under the mozzarella sticks because they could stick to the paper towel. As you can see, none of these have popped, but you can tell that some of them have oozed out a little bit, but that's okay. And this is how yours should look like after you finish with it. If you wonder where that stuff is on the right, that stuff is some keto rice dressing I made earlier. I do have a recipe for that if you want to check that out. Or you can use some marinara sauce. This is pretty delicious. I never had cheese at mozzarella sticks before. So I suggest you give it a try. 